Larry Owen began his baseball card career in pretty good company. Appearing as the last man on the 1982 Topps Atlanta Braves Future Stars card that featured Steve Bedrosian and Brett Butler. Both of those other players went on to some renown in Major League Baseball and were something of real prospects, having yet reached their 25th birthday when the card was issued. Owen, though, had established his level of play through five Major League seasons as a guy who could catch a game and who could hit about 200 each year. His second half Major League Baseball debut in the Strike Tour 1981 season did little to change that notion. In 17 plate appearances, over 13 games, Owen hit uh, well, zero, with a single walk. Not surprising then that he saw action in only two games during 1982, his age 27 season. Pretty surprising he landed that tops card, but it would be his last, as another handful of games with Atlanta in 1983 and then in 1985 took him to age 30, and a grand total of 30 big league hits. In between, it was all minor for Owen, same as 1986. So then... What's a guy named Larry Owen doing in a stack of 1988 score baseball cards? Looking kind of like Steve Balbani, even. Well, I lied. That 1982 tops wasn't the end of the cardboard line for Larry Owen. Nope. The Kansas City Royals followed up their World Series in 1985 by watching manager Dick Hauser fall ill of the brain cancer that would eventually kill him, and also by stumbling into third place in the American League West in 1986. Also in 1986, the Braves finally cut ties with Owen after the season and let him become a free agent in October. In March of 1987, the two found each other. A day after Kansas City traded away starting catcher Jim Sundberg, they signed Owen just before the new season started, and they took Owen with them out of spring training. He started behind the plate in their third game, and he stayed with them all season long, appearing in 76 total games, starting 59 of them. Owen, at age 32, had improbably become the backup backstop to new starter Jamie Quirk, and he hit like Larry Owen, 189 and 164 at-bats. But that was enough for Score to grab on the next year and include him in their inaugural set. By then, Owen was busy putting the finishing touches on his big league career by hitting 210 over 37 games with the Royals. And that swan song brought him a slot in the 1989 Tops and Upper Deck sets. There's a lesson to be learned from this story, something like there's always room for more catchers, or don't give up. That second one sounds better, though. It never hurts to find your niche, and Larry Owen found his, finally. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com